name is Mark Humphreys and welcome to this week's episode of Design Cut Build. Here in this episode, we're gonna be building some fabrication tables that we actually needed around our demonstration area for future videos. So we decided to build the ultimate fabrication table. Uh, the cut list is all provided on fabricationforum.com. So we'll throw to that link at the end of the video, but we're gonna be building the tops out of three eighths inch mild steel plate and the frames will be built out of two by two square tubing with a 3 16 schedule. And some of the accessories on the side will be built out of 3 16 mild steel flat plate. Today we're gonna to be going over the design of the weld tables. We're gonna be going over some of the elements that we added to the weld tables um, as far as like plasma marking, the thicknesses of material, and the two files that we generated for cutting. So we did two thicknesses of material. We did 3 16 for all of the bracketry and all of the panels that we used. And then we used 3 8 for the tabletops itself and for the tank top. This will get us started with what we have. And then we'll talk a little bit about plate marking and plasma marking and the difference between the two. So as you can see, this is, these are all the tabletops that we, uh, that we designed. In the fluorescent green is the plasma marking that we assigned a color to make sure that there was separation. And as you can see, we did a one inch by one inch grid pattern along with the 45, the 37, and the 22 angles on each one. Now the other file that we had set up were all the bracketry for all the 3 16 Now inside of here, we were able to nest this around to make sure that we implemented as much as the material as possible without waste. But we have the welder holders that were gonna be folded. And then we have the bracketry to hold the casters for each and every single table. We also added some of these yokes that for uh, grinding purposes or for a grinder or a angle grinder and also it's great to hold hoses, cables and cords and it's just the perfect shape that we can go ahead and put those and weld those onto the table throughout to make sure that we keep our area nice and neat and tidy. Hi, my name is Samantha Cardenuto. I'm a welder here at Lincoln Electric Cutting Systems. Been here for about four years. Today, we're gonna to be welding up some fabrication tables. We're gonna be welding with two by two tubing with 3 16 wall. I'm welding with a PowerWave C300, which is an excellent machine. It's great for production welding, great for your home welding, whatever you need it for. It can weld very thin metal, it's a very thick metal. It can do air arcing, it can do stick welding. You can even TIG with this machine. I'm gonna be welding with setting 13, wire speed 345 a trim at about 1.0. So, let's get started, okay? This overall table size is gonna be three foot by six foot on 3 8 inch material. We're gonna be cutting this out on our TMX table with the FlexCut 125. The FlexCut 125 has the plasma marking capabilities which allows us to mark the plate with using the plasma process. We usually will use the plate marking process, but the plasma marking goes a lot faster and plus it gives a nice little etch. If we wanted to use the plate marker as the, as the process, it would etch uh, about a 16th of an inch in inside the uh, the top of the table itself, but with the plasma marking, it just leaves a nice little clean edge that people can at least see what the grid pattern is going to be inside the table.
Dennis brought me the tabletop and all the little accessories that we have here. We're gonna go ahead and put them on here. We're gonna put casters on. We're gonna put the shelf for the welder on there, plus a couple little dangling things around, okay? So let's get started. Now, before you install the bottle on your table, make sure to properly insulate it so that it does not have any potential of conducting electricity. We use foam padding under the gas cylinder with some rubber grommets between the bottle and the table. We also use some shriek tubing to protect the chain that secures the bottle. We're really happy with how this fabrication table turned out. I know that Chad and Sammy collaborated on the design. So Sammy, tell us some of your inputs you had into it. Well, I suggested places for your cords because nobody likes cords hanging around. Just a place for your grinder, a place for your torch lead, clamps, um, something to lay out with. So Chad, talk to me about like some of the angles that you chose on the grid. Um, on the angles on the grid, we decided to go with 45, 37, and 22. The reason why we went with those are those are the most common angles that fabricators use when they're welding things up. And then Sammy, you suggested a 3 8 mild steel plate. Why did you choose that specific thickness? Well, because it's not too tiny, so it won't warp, and it's not too thick like half inch, so it's not too heavy to move this whole yep. table around. Plus, when we put in these gouge marks, it made it nice and deep, and you can grind on it as much as you need to, and the marks won't go away. Nice. Do you guys have any suggestions of how you guys would build your own fabrication table? Please leave them in the comment section below. You can watch last week's video on the industrial bar build with this link here, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And as always, visit fabricationforum.com under the DIY project section where you can get all the detailed project plans. We'll see you next time. I wish this table was mine. Dude, I'm going to need one too. <laughs>